Hi, I'm John Clark. I'm the clinical director of the Pennsylvania Patient Safety Authority and a professor of surgery at Drexel University. You might think the wrong site surgery is a rare event. However, we've received more than 400 reports since 2004. The universal protocol is designed to prevent wrong site surgery. It has three steps. The first step is to verify that the information is correct with the patient. The second step is to mark the site of the incision. The third step is to do a final timeout with all the members of the operating room to make sure that everyone is in agreement. We encourage operating room supervisors to observe their staff to make sure that the timeouts are being done properly. The authority has a number of educational resources that can be used to prevent wrong site surgery. To learn more about these resources, visit the Preventing Wrong Site Surgery link at the bottom of this video. Thank you.